Hey, what's going down, guys? It's your boy Trumps, and we are back with another episode of my team. And let's open some packs. We got 17k BC. Probably gonna spend around 20k once we start selling some of these cards. And you know, I still don't really know what packs to buy. I haven't had any luck in buying gold packs whatsoever. I bought some purple packs, and we got Javel McGee. We got another good silver player that was worth uh, like 5,000. So we have made our money back on some purple packs, which is nice because I bought, in, you know, you buy two gold packs, which is the same price as a purple. But the only thing you get in gold packs, honestly, like the only thing I think I get in gold packs is the U.S. Airway Center. Honestly, that's the only card I get in gold packs is Phoenix Suns Arena. I swear. And then in, in uh, at least in uh, uh, purple packs, We've gotten JaVel McGee, we've gotten another silver player, and we've gotten our money back. And, I mean, silver players, you do get a guaranteed player. I mean, compared to gold packs, which is the most random thing ever. So, I mean, I don't know, but let me know down below what have you guys had the most luck, luck in packs-wise. Uh, gold packs, purple packs, because then I'm going to start buying those. Just stick to one type of pack. Or I could keep jumping around just seeing, you know, just get lucky. But let me know down below what have you guys gotten your best players or what what have you guys had the most luck in? and again the u.s airway center and a gold pack what else is new seriously i'm getting i don't like 2k i just want to kill them every time i see a that arena i just literally i'm about to sell the game i i see like you get it so much it's ridiculous and i don't know if they like i've heard they've locked certain like cards and stuff like they're like no one gets a gold coach anymore from what people have been telling me no one gets ai anymore like i don't know why 2k would do that like lock cards you know what i mean like especially a coach like why would you lock gold coaches no uh, it's just kind of dumb in my opinion but at the same time if you, for those of you who do play madden ultimate team it's i actually like this version better than the ultimate team because in madden ultimate team you can like you just buy a legendary pack and you get like three players with 90 plus plus one of them is a legend and like everyone's team in madden is just so good and at least in this game uh bc is harder to get and like especially if you're gonna get like a LeBron in them at the same time packs don't really work out But I mean that's kind of the only dumb thing I think it'd be sweet if they kind of took away the either Really up the players like LeBron in them to maybe like 40 KBC 50 KBC And then made packs a little bit better like you can get a silver player uh, Rather than getting you get a guaranteed player and you get a bronze player That's like a 65 overall you actually get a, a decent silver player like McGee's or like a I don't know, people like that, I think that would be, they, that's what they should do in the next My Team. But let's jump right into the game. KI coming down, let's get him this double screen right here, horns around. Nothing there, I don't know where I'm going, honestly, didn't even use the picks. Oh, how to land, I don't know why I didn't take it, crossing him over, pull up. There we go, at least we hit it, KI bailing me out. 2-2, two, two. let's get some defensive stops. Pulling up with Rivers, don't give him that. There we go, look at Braun getting it, look at KI leaking out, you know Drew's leaking out every time. That's the best part about having LeBron. He gets rebounds, and then Drew knows when to leak out and easy layups. Look at LeBron, coast to coast, he makes him making these layups look easy. Oh, don't give him that. Look at McGee getting that defensive steal. We're running with LeBron, feeling a big jam. Oh, clear path. They, oh, at least it was a clear pass. We get two free throws right here. First one. Oh, that was a bad release. I, oh, yeah, I knew that one was going to miss right before I even whatever. At least we get the second one. Excellent. So 7-7 seven, seven now. We got it with JR. It's getting the... Or not JR. We got it with Drew. Look at him find Kobe on the wing. And Kobe's going to hit that every time. And I'm so glad we have Kobe on our team. Because we have LeBron, who's basically my point guard. And then we have Drew, who really spaces the floor, but at the same time can get to the bucket. And then we have Kobe, who is the same thing. Can hit some outside shots, but at the same time get to the bucket. And that's why I'm, it's awesome having Kobe, because we got LeBron. Whenever we are in like that clutch moment, you know, we got LeBron, small forward. Then we got Kobe shooting guard, K Kyrie. Then we got Jay Smoove. And then we got uh, McGee. Like, our starting five in clutch moments is really just, I'm like, it's so easy just because everyone, even Jay Smoove, can stretch the floor out from a medium range standpoint. And then McGee is just a beast on the boards, especially uh, in these younger rounds or in these earlier rounds where people don't really have a whole lot of great uh, big men. Like, we're just dominating teams down low. We get so many offensive boards. But look at LeBron finding uh, JR. Look at JR swinging the ball to Bogans for three, and he's hitting it. So we're only up by five points, just about the end of the half. Oh, give me that. Look at JR getting the steal. Let's push it up right here. Try to hit him in the transition three. Looking like Curry. There we go. 
JR coming up big off the bench. Don't give him that. Yeah, I hate when they get those fading threes. I swear those go in more than regular threes. Look at Bogans. And again, LeBron hitting the full court pass right there. Easy. Starting to pull ahead right here. 10-point lead. There we go. Look at JR getting another steal. JR, we're going coast to coast. You're going to get some points after a steal. Give me that. Oh, wow. That was weak, JR. I don't know how people... That was just bad timing. I made him stop. And look at this guy's fouling right here. I was expecting him to quit once he just started fouling for no reason. Look at that right there. Running in. JR, give me that. Oh, wow. I hate when they do that. He's wide open. And instead of popping it, they fade away. Like, that 2K needs to fix that. Let's give it right back to JR. He missed two shots in a row. We got to make him not look like an idiot. So, again, 10-point lead. Starting to bring the double team. And I love when kids start doing that. They get frustrated, try to get turnovers. And, oh, Splitter got to hit that. At least Splitter's free throw is pretty easy. You got that Blake Griffin free throw going down. So 11 points. Let's make it a 12-point lead right here. There we go. Bounced in. Got the lucky roll. So let's bring Drew back in. Driving with Drew. Nothing there. Let's get it to Beatrice. Oh, he's collapsed. Look at Harrison Barnes. Wide open. He's hitting that every time. And again, he's pushing up the floor. Look at Jay Smooth getting this steal. That was the most thing I noticed in this game was J just the JR. The JR and Jay Smooth. The Jays. We're getting so many steals this game. It was ridiculous, actually. And look at these pushing up the floor to LeBron. Don't give him that. Oh, but he gets the board. Don't put it. I don't know why he wouldn't put that up. He had no one in front of him. He's trying to catch up right here. And again, you can take threes with Austin Rivers with a hand in his face every time. It doesn't matter, man. There we go. Look at Smooth finally getting the rebound. Run up the floor with Kobe. You know, step wide open. How did Kobe not hit that? It's Kobe. How did he not make a wide open layup when he was two feet in front of the basket? There we go. At least he didn't get the oop. But show this guy how to do an oop. We got Beatrice running with Kobe. Hit him, Kobe. Oh, Beatrice, you got to dunk that. I know you're white, but you still got to try, man. So 35-22. We're starting to pull away. Look at LeBron going coast to coast. Making it look too easy. So 15-point lead now. Just pulling away. Let's sure. Trying to just put the dagger in him right now. Because my team doesn't... It's not even fun when kids play like this. They just jack up threes. And you get easy buckets. And then it starts being 15, 20 point lead. It's just not even fun anymore. Let's push up the floor. And again, KI. Nothing there to get the oop. Oh, I don't know why he didn't give it to McGee when he had the momentum going to the hoop. But we'll take it. We got the points. Look at four, three, two, one. And look at JR getting a last second shot. Going into halftime. 43 to 26. Really pulling away. So let's put the dagger in him early. Let's try to get a three. And whenever I'm up by honest, like 15, 20 points, I just try to hit him with threes. Just so, because, you know, they're going to get frustrated and quit. We get the three right here. Was hoping he would quit. I didn't think he would have right away. But look at Jay Smooth turning around and getting the steal. Throw it down, Jay Smooth. Learning those moves from Uncle Drew. And then right after that, finally he quit. Thanks, guys, for watching. Catch you next episode. Peace.